You want to know the only thing that feels better than getting new sneakers? Getting them for a good price. What's good you guys? It's me Jordan Young back with another episode. Today I want to talk to you about how I go about trying to cop used shoes online and how I try to get the most for my money. Let's get into it. So I closed the deal yesterday on an exciting pair of sneakers you can see here. They're gonna go nicely with my hats. These are the 2016 Nike SB Dunk Low Sea Crystals. Clean colorway, obviously I have the bias because of the hats. <laughs> but I've been looking out for this pair now for a good couple of months and I've been watching an eBay auction that I actually was disappointed to miss out on about three weeks ago. This guy sold this pair and it, it ended up being a, a dud deal because the buyer flaked on him and he reposted them, relisted. And I was able to get in touch with him via the messenger. We went back and forth with a couple of offers, counter offers. And then finally, I submitted my best offer, which was 250 pounds. He didn't want to take it, but I said, it's my best I can do. And so we ended up settling on that 250. Now I've been looking at the market over this past couple of months and I've been seeing prices range from kind of like around 350 pounds seems to be about the market minimum to upwards of five, six, seven hundred plus. As you can see here with like the StockX readout, you can also see the different prices on GOAT. This isn't the kind of pair that tends to go that cheaply. I know there's gonna be a lot of like old school SB heads who are gonna say things like, I remember when they went on sale. Uh, I remember when they were so easy to cop. I can't believe 250 is like a steal. Like, bruv, I get you, bro, I get you. It's, it's not a steal if we're gonna like rewind the time and go back to 2016, 2017 prices. The market as it is currently prices these at around 300 pounds for like half decent condition with no box, that's sort of minimum. And on the upper end, so like six, 700 pounds. And so to come up on these with OG all in pretty good condition, as I'm sure you'll agree, they, they look pretty mint for 250 is a good deal. So I'm really happy. And so this is where the magic comes in. This is where the sage advice is there for you to take or to leave. If you're experienced in this game, this is gonna be pretty obvious stuff, but if you're relatively new to the game and you're wondering how to get the most for your money and how to get cool shoes on a budget, then check this out. So whenever I'm looking for sneakers, I look across different platforms, primarily eBay and Goats and Facebook sneaker groups that I know and trust and have dealt with people on before. I regularly look across these platforms and I compare the sneaker prices from app to app. Sometimes you'll find sneakers that are better priced on eBay compared to GOAT and vice versa. The other thing that I do is I make sure if I see a sneaker that I like the look of and that's priced attractively, I save it. I put it in my, my watch list or on my wants list or if it's a Facebook post, I um, put a B or an F in the comments to be notified if there's any more activity on that post. So keep track and also monitor the sneakers that you've got your eyes on. You have to be patient and you have to allow the seller to try to sell the sneaker at the price they wanna sell. If a seller is gonna be stubborn on a price and they're not gonna move, there's no point trying to bash your head up the wall and try to convince them to sell them at a price that you wanna pay. You need to be patient to wait for the seller that has the flexibility. But cash is king these days and if you're ready to move on a pair, you should try to leverage your buyer's bartering position as effectively as you can. So case in point, with these Sea Crystal SBs I bought, I saw them first a couple of months ago on GOAT for some good prices. I didn't act, I decided to remain patient and to wait and see if the market would reveal something to me a little bit more attractive. Lo and behold, a pair popped up on eBay. I tracked it, I monitored it, and then I was able to act on it when I felt the time was right. And here we are in possession of what I feel is a good deal. When the opportunity comes up to strike, you've got to be quick. That's the thing. When deals and steals come around on the market, they get snapped up quickly and you can often be left with your hat in your hands wondering, man, I really should have pulled the trigger. 
that's what it's like to miss out on a good steal and a good deal so yes you must be patient but you've also got to recognize when the time is right to strike and the time is right to strike when you've found the price that's best across all of the platforms that you're looking at and sometimes even significantly under so habituate checking these different platforms and apps for the shoes that you want keep track of the prices and how they compare across the, the platforms that you're looking at save the shoes make sure you monitor them to see what the interest is like and then when the time is right negotiate and when you negotiate try to negotiate with a mindset to closing the deal and securing the kicks for the price that you're willing to pay So to summarize, your best plan of attack is to broaden your search across as many different resale platforms as you can in order to find good deals on used sneakers. You can cast your net far wider than what I've suggested in this video. I primarily keep my searches directed on platforms like I said, eBay, Goat, and also on Facebook sneaker groups that I know and trust. Those are the methods that I like to use because I like the authenticity guarantee service that these uh, apps provide or the uh, shelter that the Facebook groups provide given the fact they're well moderated and they have very active admins so the the group members are legit basically. When you find the sneaker that you're looking for below the market price that you've been able to ascertain through your constant tracking and monitoring that's when it's time to open up negotiations with the seller. I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful and maybe interesting. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the subs at this point. If you've got the time, give it a like and maybe even a share in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Thank you all very much for watching. Peace.